in full zoom is presented to you by Calvo Enterprises Inc. Off day, everyone. Nestor Lecanto here with another edition of In Full Zoom, and we're going to kind of move a little bit away from what we usually do, which is uh, business and the economy, and talk a little bit about a couple of uh, stories about graduates of the upcoming of uh, the upcoming graduates of, from the University of Guam uh, this coming weekend, and. Uh, we have uh, two people, and I'm going to read um, their mini bios, uh, courtesy of uh, Jackie Hansen, uh, communication specialist from the University of Guam. First, we have uh, Julianne Balland, who will be experiencing her UOG graduation from Los Angeles, uh, where she has also been completing her degree the past year while serving as a caregiver for her mother. She moved to California last year with her parents and grandmother for her mother's medical treatment. But the pandemic and the move to online learning allowed her to continue her degree program online through UOG. She will be earning a dual bachelor's degree in chemistry and biology with aspirations to gain experience in healthcare and apply to medical school. Congratulations, Julianne. Also today we have Steve Chirlahi. Steve will be earning his bachelor's in business administration after a 23 year journey of taking classes on and off. Uh, since first enrolling at UOG out of high school in 1998, family tragedies and personal hardships have created setbacks in his degree path. He is, his slow but steady perseverance has paid off, though, and he will now be able to display his degree alongside that of his wife, who has been waiting since 2004 for them to be college graduates and both uh, UOG alumni. Steve, congratulations and welcome. Thank you. All right, Ju Julianne, let me start with you. Um, so tell us a little bit more about uh, the situation that you found yourself in uh, last year. And um, I'm sorry for your mom's um, uh, current condition, but uh, please tell us your story. All right. Uh, so it happened back in last year of May where she was starting to get sick. And at the time, COVID wasn't really known or it was like we were all in a lockdown somewhat. And we thought it was COVID at first because the symptoms were so similar, but it turns out her test was negative. And at GRMC, they found out that she had leukemia. So after that, we had to leave to California immediately because she needed to seek treatment right away. And it's been like a few weeks since, as she was already sick. But luckily enough, the social workers at GRMC were able to help us and like our family and friends too. And they, we were able to go off island. Um, a lot of the times, the cost is to go off island for healthcare is quite a lot. And so, if it was like me and my mom, that those tickets are very expensive. But with the help of like all our family and friends on Guam, we were able to travel off island. And this happened during the finals week of my junior year. So, that was quite a stressful event. But nonetheless, I was able to persevere through it. And um, help my mom seek treatment out here. So she's been here like a, almost a year right now. Um, I came back to LA uh, when I found out my classes were online. Um, for my fall semester, I thought that my classes would be like in person. So I had to go back for, to Guam um, for those three months. But then I went back immediately because my mom's treat or my mom's recovery had a transplant in January. So I had to be there for her and be a caregiver. And so I'm here now. And since all my classes were online for the past semester, I'm very blessed that that happened um, because I'm still able to take care of her and the rest of my family too. Yeah, er earning earning a degree in and of itself is, is you know, pretty stressful, pretty, pretty daunting task. And you had the added burden of, um, you know, and, and of course, uh, rightfully so, that's something you have absolutely uh, had to do is, is help your mom. How, how was that for you? Can you elaborate on just um, how big of a, a, a burden you felt? I wouldn't say it's a burden first, first most, because it's more like my love and willingness to her. Like, this is what I want to do for her. Um, especially because she helped raise me and she's been so supportive of all my events. So it's my only, it's the only right thing to do to help her and take care of her 
as what she did for me. So kind of like just reciprocate back. Yeah. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to say it was oh, a burden. No. It was it was obviously a sacrifice on your part, but but absolutely something that that we as children would do for our parents. So uh, kudos to you and congratulations to you. In Full Zoom is presented to you by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. GU Self Storage, conveniently located near the Harmon McDonald's. We offer affordable rates, online payments, and auto bill pay for your convenience. Plus, gate access daily from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Call us today at 648-7867 for more information. In Full Zoom is presented to you by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. Let me move on to Steve. Steve, um, talk about your journey. Um, you got quite a story yourself, too. Well... Thanks, Nestor. It's um, 23 years um, since I graduated from high school. I graduated in 1900s, and I always make that joke with my classmates. And uh, my journey uh, was was an off and on relationship with uh, the University of Guam. I I, I went in, um, and the hardships that I that I had to go through uh, during that time. The economy wasn't doing too well. Um, when you talk about scarcity. Of, of jobs, um, that, that was that latter part of the 90s. So um, I grew up in a, a single parent household. So there was hardships. My father had a, um, um, a set income. My, my sister, she, uh, she had kids at an early age. So I had to make some, some life decisions and um, you know, find some work. Uh, but I was still going to, to UOG. I was taking classes off and on, but um, you know, life happened. I had to do what was needed uh, to help support my, my father in the household. And um, it just kept on growing on me uh, as the years went on. But my wife, she graduated a, a year after me and she went to the University of Guam. And I decided, you know, she was on, she was on scholarship. Her tuition was being paid. She made the, um, the president's list. She made, you know, she, she's a, she was a scholar. She is my role model. But I, I decided, you know, I'm going to work hard and I started to pay for her books. Um, you know, I was paying for her dinners, her lunches. I was gassing the car. So I, I was doing that and I was operating well. And I just kind of fell in love with life, you know, traveling, um, started, you know, careers here and there. And as the years progress, I, I start to look back and I said, hey, uh, it's 10 years since uh, I graduated from high school. And then, wow, it's 15 years. And here we are at 20. But uh, you know that that journey really took a toll on me, and it was um, it was in 2013. Um, some life tragedies happened. I, I lost my father, and then um, in 2014, I lost my mom. Uh, but within that that time period between my wife and I, we actually lost 13 family members. Wow. So there was a there was an emotional uh, toll that was um, you know it rained down upon us. But life life happens. Life teaches you. But it wasn't until we were in Singapore and uh, I was just in a pool. My wife was just uh, relaxing and I just sat in that pool. It was nighttime and I just sat there. I just lost my father. And, you know, I thought to myself, what am I doing? Can I get to fulfillment? And, you know, everything was going great with us. You know, we had a home. We have no children, but, uh, you know, we're traveling. And I just said, there's just something in there that, that is not fulfilled, and that was school. So my wife, she she would poke, she would prod at me, and it was in 2016. I went to the SBPA, the office, and I and I just looked around and I said, I think it's time to look for an advisor to help me out. And there was this this woman that just called out my name. She knew me by face and name, and at that time, I I didn't know anybody at UOG. I'm the old guy, right? But this woman, she, she called me out and she said, hey, Mr. Steve Trelawhi, um, did you need help? And I said, well, I signed up. I, I do need some help looking for an advisor. She brought me to the back and she said, I'm going to be an advisor. She laid out this, this, this path in 2016. And um, she's still my professor today. I think of her as a, as a motherly figure for me. And um, she never reached out her, her hand. She I just knew I had to walk right beside this woman. She paved out, she carved that road and it, she smoothed in and out for me. And, and here I am today and I, and I followed her path and, and um, you know, that light bulb was just shining bright for me. 
so that's just a, a gist of of um, my path to to Sunday. <laughs> hey, great great story. Who who was who was that woman? Um, that's uh, Dr. Ru Wayne. Okay. Yeah, well, she's, she's she's an yeah she's an ec ec economy professor at the University of Guam. We know her very well with the all the uh, studies that she puts up. In Full Zoom is presented to you by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. GU Self Storage, conveniently located near the Harmon McDonald's. We offer affordable rates, online payments, and auto bill pay for your convenience. Plus, gate access daily from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Call us today at 648-7867 for more information. In Full Zoom is presented to you by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. Also need to introduce our third guest today who had a little bit of trouble getting on, but we're glad you're here, Andrea Alvarado. Uh, the timeline for Andrea's uh, academic journey is the opposite uh, of most uh, traditional college students. She became a military spouse, a mother of two now teenagers, and a veteran of the U.S. Air Force before pursuing her four-year degree and working toward her bachelor's in public administration at UOG. Uh, she has sparked her desire to take her education even further. And after earning her bachelor's this month, uh, this weekend, as a matter of fact, she plans to continue attending UOG to earn her master's. Welcome, Andrea. Hi, thank you. Apologies for having troubles getting in here. Um, no worries, no worries. This is the new normal. This is <laughs> how it is now, nowadays. But please tell us a little bit more about your story. Um, yeah, it's. It's been an interesting road for me, definitely. Um, you know, I went to college 20 years ago out of high school and really didn't know what I wanted to do. And so then I stumbled across the military and I was like, sure, this works. And they, um, you know, they pretty much figured out my career for me. Um, did that for about eight years and it was in emergency management. Um, at the time, it, it, it still is, it's, I was a command post controller. And, um, did that for about eight and a half years. Then, um, you know, and during that time I met my husband and, you know, had two kids. And so towards the end, it was, we were both sh shift workers. So it was one of those of who's going to um, stay home and, you know, kind of that. And of course I was thrilled to be, be able to have that opportunity. Um, and then once my kids were about preschool age, um, I did the reserves for four years. Um, and so we were living in Colorado the whole time of, you know, that time. And, um, and after the four years, we had the opportunity to come out to Guam. And it was, again, doing shift work and a lot of, you know, we could see the stress for our family. And so the opportunity to come out here to Guam, we we're like, this is kind of a perfect chance to kind of look at us and be together. And, you know, our kids are uh, nine and 10 and it's an awesome age. And we looked at the availability to travel with them and everything. And um, I was at the time, I had just started a civilian, I was a full-time civilian um, with the uh, DOD. Um, and so I, I hated to leave such a great job, but it's one of those where we look at, you know, what's, you gotta look at the family. Um, and so coming out, I was like, this is also the opportunity to use my GI Bill. And so I had two AAs already, but they weren't focused on anything. Um, and so I was able to come to the University of Guam, finish my bachelor's, have all my credits trans transfer over. Um, and I'm actually starting a new job. Um, I'm looking at a June 7th start date as an emergency management manager with uh, the DOD, with the Department of Navy. So I'm really excited for that. Um, you know, I was able to hear some of what Steve was saying of how his wife really inspired. And, you know, I was thinking, what's been my driving force? And I have to say my husband. And it's not that he pushes, oh, you need, you need. It's more of he, it's, a, it's, and it's not even a competition. It's just that I can see him always bettering himself. And he's always even reading, you know, uh, books that challenge him, you know, like uh, Calling of American Mind or even self-help motivation books. And he's always encouraging in that support for me to where it's like, you're right, I can do anything really. And he's like, yeah, you want to go for your master's? Let's do this. You want to do this? And very supportive. Um, and my kids as well, you know, they are constantly, you know, kind of watching in on the zoom class meetings. And, um, a couple times my kids will say, wait, I think this is the answer. And so it's exciting to watch them be involved in my school process. Um, so that's basically it. <laughs> yeah. In full zoom is presented to you by Calvo enterprises, Inc. 
GU Self Storage, conveniently located near the Harmon McDonald's. We offer affordable rates, online payments, and auto bill pay for your convenience. Plus, gate access daily from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Call us today at 648-7867 for more information. In Full Zoom is presented to you by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. You know, when, when, uh, I got to tell you guys that when uh, Jackie Hansen, the communication specialist at uh, UOG, uh, sent me your, your mini bios, uh, one thing struck me, and, and, and all of your stories, uh, they're weaved among your stories, is one thing uh, is perseverance, I think. And uh, let, let me ask each of you individually, uh, let me, and start with you, Julianne, uh, what um, prompted you? What, what motivated you? What, how, how were you able to persevere, uh, given what happened in, in your particular situation? Thank you. And the way I was able to persevere was I'm inspired by my parents. Um, They're both uh, sick or ill, but nonetheless, they still support me, no matter me and my brother, no matter what, um, whether they're busy or if they have to go to clinics or something like that. Um, They're always there for all our events and activities. So it was only like, we, we just wanted to finish our degrees and um, because that's what they like always taught us. And for me, I want to be a medical doctor. So I want to reach that goal one day. And so that's what made me motivated to persevere um, and such. Yes. So, sounds, sounds good. And, and, and Steve, uh, you took uh, the long route. Uh over two decades uh, before you finally um, took the plunge and decided to get that degree. Talk, up, talk about um, how you were able to persevere. Um, I think the, uh, the key for me for the motivation uh, was there was just something that was, was lacking uh, to completely have everything full circle uh, between my wife and I. And she was truly uh, uh, the motivation for me. I wanted to make sure that, um, you know, she, she didn't have to worry about me, uh, especially through COVID-19. Um, unfortunately, I was, I was laid off from, from, from uh, my employer and in a career that I was uh, very successful in, and I was looking towards building that uh, even further. But when COVID-19 happened, um, the whole world, the whole world just, um, you know, we were still trying to figure out uh, things as we go today. But I wanted to make sure that um, uh, I can optimize my time. And I did so by going back to school. And I wanted to prove to my wife that I could do this. And I took the full load from, from spring to intercession to summer. I did uh, the summer ANC. I went full load in, in the fall. And then in this semester in spring, I took six upper level classes, uh, which is not recommended, but I, I wanted to, to prove to myself and to my wife that I could do this. And I wanted to make sure that I, I fulfilled that need uh, for the both of us. Yeah, you, you definitely uh, backloaded your, your curriculum there. <laughs> Andrea, um, you, you touched on it a little earlier and you spoke of your husband, but tell us about um, your, your experience with uh, persevering. You know, I think, um, given the opportunity to join the military and the benefits that came along with it and having the opportunity to have the GI Bill and get paid to go to school and have that tuition paid for. Um, And I had already had one AA prior to joining and it was hard getting that, you know, working full time, taking one class only. So having that benefit and then even the larger part, having the opportunity that my husband allowed, essentially saying that he would take the full you know, of supporting the house while I could go to school, kind of let the, those benefits of me of being able to use that opportunity of the, the GI Bill. Um, so being able to have that support, support structure from my husband and my kids and um, being able to focus on school to use those benefits. I mean, it just kind of all aligned perfectly in, in having that support structure. Okay. And, and all of you, of course, uh, are preparing to receive uh, your degrees uh, this weekend, and uh, it was, of course, a culmination of all your hard work. I want to give you guys a, an opportunity to uh, uh, give some advice um, to um, up its, uh, current students and prospective students of the University of Guam. Give them your best advice and also tell them um, why they should be going to the University of Guam. Give, give your, 
your alma mater, your alma mater a, a good plug. And uh, Julianne, let me start with you. Okay, uh, so I loved UOG. I loved going there. Um, I had the choice of either staying on island or going off island, but I chose to go to UOG um, because of the merit scholarship and I'm close to my family. But um, through throughout my whole four years, I've had supportive mentors. I've had supportive professors. Our classroom sizes are small, um, like compared to like the mainland classes. So I thought like being in that environment is helpful for me um, in the STEM career field because of our challenging courses. I think like having that support system and on top of that, I also had a great network of peers around me where we just pushed each other and motivated each other and inspired one another to, I guess, finish our, or finish our courses and, you know, finally graduate on Sunday. So um, because of that, and because I, I went to UOG, I don't think I would have had a similar experience if I went to another college. And definitely my advice to younger students is um, if you are going to take like a STEM career field or maybe any other field, just be focused and always do your best. Um, and keep in mind that like grades are just like a number. Uh, what defines you is really like your, I guess your, um, your, I guess study ethic or work ethic. So um, if you stay focused and just work hard throughout your courses, uh, you'll eventually get to where you want to be. So that's my right. advice for everyone. All right, thank you. And Steve, uh, your advice to uh, underclassmen and prospective students and uh, tell them about your experience uh, and why they should uh, go to the University of Guam. Uh, first and foremost, don't take 23 years to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the key, I think, is to stay focused. Um, COVID-19 is still here. Uh, we still have to operate and be safe, but um, stay focused, sacrifice the small things. Um, you know, it's a, it's a small window uh, where you need to sacrifice those things. Uh, and based off of Zoom, um, a key advice is to participate. You know, uh, participate with your professors, collaborate with your, your peers, give it your all, you know. Um, you know, do as much as you could and, and be involved and cherish uh, your hard work. You're not gonna remember everything, you know. Uh, but you can take the bits and pieces that uh, really defined your, your time at the University of Guam, cherish it, uh, put it in your pocket, and when you need it, take it out and, and produce and create output out there uh, once you get to, um, uh, to the job. <laughs> All right, thank you. And uh, Andrea, we're going to wind up with you. Um, your best advice to the underclassmen and prospective students and about your experience at the university. I would say it's okay to change your degrees. It's okay to change your path. It's okay to change your focus. Um, you know, it's what makes you happy and um, be open to opportun opportunities. So many professors um, within the OG are always sending out different opportunities to, you know, join different programs to open up within the federal system um, to, I think there was even a secret service opportunity at one point, which looked really cool. So it's such a wide net that they help you and, you know, be open to any of them, even though it means leaving your family, it could be for only a small bit to get that experience and then be able to come back home. Um, and so just, you know, make sure you take every opportunity that you can, because you never know where that road can take you. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Andrea Alvarado. Julianne Vallon and Steve Turlahi the, from the class of 2021 at the University of Guam, be graduating this weekend. Congratulations. Well done, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. All right. I'm Nestor DeCanto. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you again next week on In Full Zoom. In Full Zoom is presented to you by Calvo Enterprises, Inc.